day seven and the last day of my spring vlogs. My name is Yana. We are watching Finnish Knitting Stories. I'm very quickly pop popping in here into my corner for like a five minute chat. Well, Sophia is busy. I've been having lots of <laughs> imaginary tea and coffee today with biscuits. <laughs> uh, it's uh, been a non-stop tea party over here. Uh, happy Easter to everybody celebrating. I just wanted to show you what I've been working on very, very quickly. And thank you for being here with me throughout this, this week. It's been bumpy. <laughs> there is a mess on my table. Don't pay attention. This is a real life vlog. <laughs> okay. Uh, you saw yesterday that I finished my yarn. I finished hand spinning yarn with the fiber that Kat from Lake House Mood sent me. It was very lovely. Thank you, Kat, if you're watching. Thank you once again. Uh, and I started Mystic Square by James Watts. First of all, I wanted to tell you about the yarn because I didn't mention it. This is how much I have left from my, my skein. I had 118 grams and almost 250 meters. And actually my gauge was about right for the pattern. This is my front panel. I finished it. I used about 100 grams for the front panel. I knew I wouldn't have enough to do the whole top, but that's all right. I have a lot of other hand spun yarn and it doesn't really matter if the back is different or not matching or whatever else is going to happen here. Uh, it looks like I can't get even five minutes of peace in this house. That's my reality when everybody's home. Anyways, it's a bit wild, but this is the front panel. And I checked the measurements. I thought I would knit size large or extra large, but then I decided to go with the medium because the measurements were quite generous. And I don't know, maybe it's going to be a bit small, but I don't know. We will see when I block it. It actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything about about if it's gonna fit or not but okay this is the front now and uh, that's all my yarn from that skein i will use it for for the sides on the back so i decided to go to my hand spun shelf and pull out a couple of things i found this kind of color and then these from the advent that i spun uh not last year one before i thought these would be quite all right if we would go more lilac-y violet i already started making oop not to pull needles out i already started making the back panel i think color wise it's quite all right now i know it's not gonna be matchy matchy but we're not going for that and then um uh, i will just try to mix them mix them all i found this kind of skein I don't remember how old this is. This is probably quite old. It's very loosely spun. And by the feeling, I would say it's merino wool. I couldn't find the notes about meters. I usually write things down, but I couldn't find where I have written down the info about this yarn. But I was thinking, because after you, you attach these two panels together, the pattern is Mystic Square by James Watts. Uh, then you still pick up the sleeves and knit the sleeves and then the ribbing on the bottom. And I was thinking, what if I tie it all together with this? Because this is probably over 100 grams. I could do the sleeves and bottom ribbing in this color. I don't know. We will see. It doesn't... <laughs> it's gonna work one way or another. Anyway, it's a crazy... It's a crazy top. It's a crazy handspun. <laughs> top so yeah <laughs> i'm loving it i love this so much it's absolutely insane and totally my vibe here um yeah but that's all i've been working on during this past day so i don't have any other anything content <laughs> for this vlog I will just tell you that we have had a lovely day together. Sophia is all right. She's she's on the mend. She's fine. She's eating. <laughs> um, yeah, and being her usual chirpy self. And I feel lighter straight away because, yeah, it, it affects me a lot when one of the kids is unwell. 
Or my husband, he's a big baby as well. <laughs> okay, don't tell him I said that. No, no, he's not. He's <laughs> uh, yeah, I think all men are impossible when unwell, but yeah, luckily it doesn't happen too often. Okay, yeah, in the morning we had a lovely breakfast together. Did you see the dragon eggs? We made the dragon eggs. Uh, <laughs> everybody had their eggs and then... Uh, then we had an egg hunt, chocolate egg hunt. Yeah, kids were looking for chocolate eggs. We did that inside because outside is still a lot of snow. I think we have had once egg hunt outside and then Sofia was still a baby. It was just Bruna. Um, so, and then we've been just playing and doing all sorts of fun things together. A Franny went egg hunting as well. You will see the footage. You will see the footage from Franny egg hunting to the, together with the chicken boys. <laughs> uh, the chicken boys and um, uh, Franny. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to make something, <laughs> something fun for Easter. I dressed. Uh, she dressed up herself. Yes, yeah, she chose her own outfit. So I don't know anything else. Probably nothing else. We've been just having very relaxed Sunday. Then we grilled some food for lunch. I made salad, nothing special, just I didn't do a Easter meal this year. Anyway, nobody, nobody likes lamb in this house and we don't, I don't know. Traditional Easter foods are not our thing, so we just do our own thing. And then we had mammy, the thing that looks like dirt but tastes delicious. <laughs> I love it. Mammy is... Um, uh, Finnish dessert traditionally for Easter. It's it tastes like dark bread um, because that, that the base is same. Mm. In Latvia, there is also something called bread soup. So mammy is like a concentrated version of that, and a lot of people don't like that. I personally love it. I love it with vanilla ice cream because then it's not too sweet and it's fresh. And if you have a chance, taste mammy. <laughs> uh, it looks. It looks awful, but tastes delicious. At least I think it's delicious. And yeah, our son doesn't like it. He's the only one who doesn't eat it in the in in this house. Yeah, everybody else loves it. Sophia loves it. She had a little bit as well. We don't want to upset her stomach, but she she wanted just a little bit of it. Uh, I think that's that's all my story of our Easter holiday. And tomorrow we're going to visit in-laws. I need to figure out some easy knitting to take with me in the car. I'll make my husband drive <laughs> because I want to knit. It's um, 40 minutes of uninterrupted knitting time, one direction. So yeah, I could, I could get a good chunk of knitting then. Um... So I'm going to go now and thank you so much for spending this week with me. It was, it was fun. It was, at times it was challenging because of people being unwell in the house, but otherwise I, I really, really enjoyed it. And I will see you hopefully next week with a regular episode. Okay. Uh, happy Easter or happy spring or happy autumn. <laughs> um, and take care. Hey, pa. <laughs> I need to change that pillow to something more spring-like. <laughs> Definitely. That's a Christmas pillow. I don't know what's still there. Okay, now...